welcome back to another video and today I am going to be doing a let's discuss blank in the ASMR video and today I wanted to talk about Halloween because Halloween is like one of my favorite holidays of the year and I wanted to talk to you guys about that in ASMR because I know you guys love when I talk and I also wanted to do it in like a get ready with me style video where I will be just doing my makeup and I will be talking to you guys. It's like we're getting ready, like think of it as like we're getting ready for a night out and we're just talking about our favorite things and stuff like that. So sit back, relax, get a drink, get a snack and enjoy the video. So today I'm just drinking some water. I don't have any fancy drinks with me today. I'm trying to stay hydrated, you know. So for today's eye look, I'm using the ColourPop X Snitchery a Super Shock Shadow in the shade character energy because I feel like it's very um like it's very um what I want to wear well it's very like Halloween-y like I have a lot of like really cute colors but I feel like this one is very much like giving Halloween I wanted to get like the Super Shock Shadows from the Haunted Mansion collection and maybe I'll get them once I have like once I have enough money to be able to spend on that even though I know they're like pretty cheap they gave 
us like some kind of weird candy. It looked like Middle Eastern candy. And I'm like, it looked good, but we tasted it and we found out it was expired. Like, um, I think just expired candy is something like, oh, you pick up whatever you find in your cabinet and you give it to the kids and stuff like that. That's something like people who don't put effort into like doing Halloween candy stuff. That's something that I don't enjoy or appreciate. <sighs> so yeah, um, my family have done different kinds of like Halloween like candy. Like now, my parents just go for. Um, going to Costco and getting out a couple of those boxes of the full-size candy and that was always the best thing like I always remember there is this house that had full-size candy bars and sometimes they would give us multiple especially at the end of the night when they wanted to get rid of all their candy and that was always fun and yeah trick-or-treating oh, trick-or-treating was always a really fun thing like, high school trick-or-treating was always so much fun. I think, like, after high school, I kind of stopped doing trick-or-treating. Like, I wish there was less stigma against adults doing trick-or-treating because I would love to do that, especially with, like, my, my friends now. But there's, like, a lot of stigma against, like, adults doing trick-or-treating. Like, I don't really care. Just, like, if you at least have a costume on, that's at least something I would do. Like, if I had an adult, like, a 30-year-old, like, person group of 30 year olds like want to go trick-or-treating and come in costume I'm like here here's my candy I'm like I don't care what age you are as long as you have a costume I'm doing my eyeliner I'm trying to make sure it's not bad
house. I like the um, Haunted Mansion movie, and the um, first one, and the second one, the new one. Like, I like the old one. I haven't watched the new one yet, and I really want to watch that one. Like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, horror movies. Like, I don't watch a lot of horror movies. Like Twitches, the first two Twitches. 
Twitches. Oh yeah, Twitches. I think was is like my favorite like Halloween like movie to watch around Halloween. Is the like the original two Twitches. Like I love those movies. And um, I also um, I watched yeah Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I also watched. Um, um, into the tall grass or what, whatever it was, it was like called tall grass something. I watched that. I watched Unfriended. I watched. Um, I I do also like a Paranormal Activity too, specifically the second one because um, that was like the first ever one. Like I remember we had like a burned DVD of that movie and that one was always fun to watch. Also, I mean, like, what are some costumes you guys really enjoyed that you guys did as a kid? I remember as a kid, I would usually just do, like, go to, like, Party City and, like, find something. But I think, like, um, it was, like, somewhere in high school, I was Kudatama. And... I, this was like when my obsession with Kudatama like first like was starting. Costume contest. 
and I went as a Disney adult. Yes, you are correct. I went as a Disney adult. And I actually won, was in like, I think I was like last place, but I was in the last of the con winning contenders. Like, I think I had like the fourth, like, highest amount of votes. And the Disney adults um, won me that Hydro Flask. And I wore like, I had grape soda socks. I had a Disney fanny pack. I wore a Disney shirt and I wore my ears. And I went in tennis shoes and shorts. And I was like, I went in my full Disney adult regalia. And I actually also, I won technically two costume contests because the drama, de the theater department at my school, at my college also did a costume contest for their Halloween improv show. <laughs> and, um, um, my friend at the time, she was like, I like vetted for you, but I technically won honorable mention, but I still got like a little bit of a prize because they just gave me candy, but I got the film out fanny pack with candy and I had a whole lot of fun, but yeah, and actually, um, that day I think was like one of the first days I ever went out in makeup and I felt so, I had so much fun and yeah. So yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's just something normal I um, usually do, but I kind of wanted to get some makeup and do like little like fun, like Halloween makeup video for you guys where I, I dress in a costume technically but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and follow the instagram down if you please do and without further ado hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys have a nice and safe